Hi everyone, in today's episode I'll be making a whiskey box. I begin by ripping down small offcuts to form multiple strips. These offcuts are cypress pine and merbu fence pickets. I now begin by laminating them all together. A quick clean up with the sander and then I repeated to cut more strips at 15mm thickness. More laminating, this time I stagger the strips to form a checkers look. Yeah, well that's come up alright. I'll now cut four thin strips to add as a border to the checkered block. Here I'm ripping down F17 hardwood. This material will add a bit of contrast to the lid. I carefully mark to suit each corner and add a 45 degree mitre.
with the top and the underside sanded, we now have a gorgeous looking lid. Once again, continuing with the theme of laminating thin strips to form multiple checkers. Yep, you guessed it. Time to laminate the frame. I'll begin with two long sides first. Amazing result with the thicknesser, no sanding required. The two side panels are cut at 384mm, while the two ends are at 144mm. The width is 14mm. And simply adding a 45 degree mitre on all four side panels. I'll now cut a rebate on all four inside panels, which will make way for the plywood base. A lovely piece of gold-coloured cloth 
a quick squirt of quick grip adhesive and away we go. I'll now rebate across this section to allow a small panel to sit firmly inside. Yep, continuing with the checkered theme. Righto, let's get down to business. I begin by sticking masking tape on the back of all four panels. Now you'll notice I'm using a straight edge. This helps everything stay in a straight line. I'll use a paintbrush to spread the glue evenly and always make sure I have a damp cloth to wipe any excess glue away. Finally, I'll clamp everything tight with two band clamps. There's a one mil discrepancy between the corners. Unfortunately, I don't have access to a hand plane, so I'll use the old sandpaper method. I'll now mark and cut to suit the inside panel. Perfect. I'll now bore a 35mm hole where X marks the spot. With my 45 degree angle spline box, I will now begin to pre-cut the corners in readiness for the splines.
So, having trimmed all the splines from the main box, I will now repeat the process on the front lid. Hmm, the lid looks kind of chunky, and I want to give it more of a slimline look. So I'll tweak the corners with a sharp angle. Yep, that's exactly the look I'm after. Using both a router and a chisel, I will now prepare a cavity for my hinges. Boy oh boy, this project has truly been a labour of love. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Go on. And finally, I'm using an oil-based varnish to create a glossy appearance that highlights all the checkers and natural colours.